Today's video is on how to take action when you don't feel like taking action. So this is something that I think every single person encounters probably once a day. If you have a business and you've got a big list of things that you know that you could do in your business and you know that these things would be good for your business, but some of these things you don't feel like doing. We find this all the time, usually dealing with the telephone and making the calls that we know that we need to make. Okay, so I'm going to give you two strategies on how to get yourself to take action when you don't feel like taking action. Okay, so the first one is good, the second one is even better. There's the first one. You visualize in your mind what could come about, the good things that could come about if you take action. Okay, so if you know you need to make some calls, then, then and you're having struggle, you're kind of procrastinating making those calls, visualize in your mind what could come about. The best case scenario by making those calls, that'll give you a push that'll create some drive inside of you, that'll create some momentum, and hopefully that will get you to, to make the calls. Now, there's a second way, and I find that this is, the, this is the ultimate way for me if the first way doesn't work. You know, if I think about the good things that could happen, but then I start thinking, well, yeah, but I've got good, other good things in my life right now, and, and I, you know, I'm just not really feeling the push from that. There's a second way that can really cause uh, momentum to be creative. And that is to use pain as a motivator. So what you do is you think about the things you need to do. Now, you think about then the worst thing that could happen if you don't do those things. Okay, now you gotta be careful of this because you don't wanna scare yourself too much. But if you do it right, then what you'll find is the thought of the pain of the worst thing will drive you to take action. Because it seems to be that human beings respond more to the potential for pain than they do the potential for pleasure. Okay, so I'll give you a perfect example. If I know that I've got to make some calls in the day, and I'm thinking about it, I'm just putting them off, and I'm finding something else to do that takes my time, and I'm kind of filling the day with busyness, but I just know that those calls are really important, and I just know I need to do it. I think about the worst case scenario. Well, the worst case scenario for me right now is that, that our business falls apart. Now I've got to go back to the old job that I didn't like. So I think about that and, I, and I, I go into a state for a second where I start to really think about that and I go, oh, no way. <laughs> I'll make those calls now. I will do whatever it takes to keep this, okay, to keep this good thing. It's like when someone wants to take away from you something that is really important to you, you'll fight to keep that. Sometimes I think the motivation is even stronger to fight to keep something that you have than to get something you've never experienced for the first time. So those are the two strategies. One, you can visualize something that could be really good that, that could come about if you take the action. But the stronger one is think about the pain that could happen if you don't take action. And then take action. That's what we use. That's a tip for the day.